Hello, it's Jay here again and welcome to another tutorial. So here we are back in the dynamic weather script and in the last video we moved the coding that manages our sunlight intensity out into a separate function here and called it within the state. And we also simplified the line by having underscore sunlight actually equal get component light. So in this video we're going to do nothing surprising but we are going to continue on and now we need to do this same for all the other states. So we'll continue on with the next one for the funder and we'll just get rid of everywhere where it says get component light open and close brackets and we're just going to select all of that and paste in the sunlight naming convention please remember from the last lesson you must leave the dot between sunlight and intensity and we'll tidy up the comments as we go and let's come here and we'll give this a naming convention of void and we'll just say funder light manager we'll open and close and open and close again and we'll just continue on and let's copy in one of the debug logs and we'll swap out the naming convention and we'll come back to these four lines now and we'll cut them and we'll paste it in to the new void and we'll call that void here funder light manager we'll open and close we'll close the line off into the comments we'll say call uh, let's just copy that naming convention in call funderlight manager function and again we want our return statement in place let's just copy this if block from the sunny light manager and we'll paste it in at the top here uh, let's just go uh, through and change what needs to be changed so we'll swap out the variable here to funder intensity and we'll change the comment here and we just need to keep going through for the next three states so again we'll copy the naming convention and let's get rid of all the get component light and we'll keep going again we'll tidy up the comments and we'll create the void so void mislight manager and we'll put the brackets in place we'll paste in the debug and change out the name again we'll cut these four lines and we'll paste those in we'll come back to the gap they've left and we'll call the mislight manager function so open and close brackets close the line off and call the naming convention and function and again we'll come back to funder and we'll copy the first if block and we'll paste it in at the very top and obviously we'll change this to missed intensity this time and we'll just change the comment out there so we've nearly done two more functions to go for overcast and snow 
and I suppose this is a good time to mention that um, the debug logs will probably be mounting up at the moment and uh, that's not good for performance so we'll once we've completed all of this we'll go back and we'll comment out any debug logs that we don't need so we'll create another new void here overcast light manager and we'll just keep going with the debug log Swap out the naming convention and let's cut and paste these two if blocks here. So let's call that function. Open and close brackets. We'll close the line off. And we'll put it into the comments that we're calling that function here. We'll come to miss this time and copy the return if statement or if block. We'll paste that in. Again, we'll just swap out the naming convention. And we'll change the comment. So, thankfully, nearly done now. One last block to go for the snow state. And then we'll have a look at the debug logs. But uh, let's just finish this off first. As always, tidying up the comments as we go. And we'll create the void for the snow light manager and we'll put the brackets in place and we'll copy in one of the debug logs and we'll just change out the name so let's cut those two if blocks there we'll paste those in Snow light manager, open and close, close the line off into the comments. And this should make a big difference now. Now we've done it for all the states. Because now, when we enter each state, as soon as we reach the appropriate intensity, then we no longer keep reading the code and trying to adjust it so let's paste the return block in and we'll just change out the variable bring the comment back into line and we'll just change that to snow uh, we'll just save that there for the moment now debug logs when they start I downsize for a moment when they start building up in the console they can actually have a n real impact on performance within the game but debug logs are good so we can see everything's working so let's just come to the top of the script and we'll wait down and we'll comment out any that we don't need and I don't think we need one for the pick weather because we've we know this void's working. Now, I tend to comment out the debug logs. That way, if I make any alterations to the script and um, I want to check everything's still working properly, I can simply come back in and I can just delete the two forward lines without having to put all the debug logs back in again. Uh, let's comment it out for all the states because we know the states are working. We'll leave the debug logs in now for the light managers just so we can see them all working. And yep, for the mist weather, we'll leave the light manager. And finally, for the snow one. And 
We can also comment out the Scarbox Blend Manager, I think, because we've already tested that and know that it works. So, with that done, let's save the script again. We'll downsize. We'll come to the directional light and we'll be able to check with the console and the intensity value here if everything's still moving up and down as it should be. So let's hit play and it may just take a moment. So we're in snow and as you can see we are if I just pause that there we've gone to 0 0.75 which is the snow intensity value so that's working correctly and as we can see the the debug logs running and I don't quite know why we've got this little glitch at the bottom but let's continue on it's not affecting anything uh, let's change the switch weather time to see if we can get switch weather state so now we're moving to overcast and we're going down and there we go 0 0.25 let's pause it again and as we can see that is correct the overcast intensity is 0 0.25 and the manager's running just fine so you may want to do this a number of times just to check that all your values are working correctly let's stop that there and we'll leave it here for this video. Now we do have a lot more optimization to come for this script. So there will be more videos as regards optimization. But we just needed to get this one out of the way and get everything moved into new voids for the intensity. And get rid of some of them debug logs that were cluttering up our project. And I think we'll leave it here for this video. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope to see you next time, and until then, as always, bye for now.